And you are geologists now? No. <laughs> okay. No, we started geology a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could have told you what every one of those was 50 years ago. We yeah. Tell you now. Uh, so you must be beautiful in the four different seasons. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. 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 This is my favorite because it's so delicate. Yeah. It's so it is. short lived. Yeah. Fall is spectacular. Yeah. The reds down and here, orange. It did flood. Oh, the last oh is it right there? Right. Yeah. Way down there. Yeah. The oh. creek's on the other side. And the creek's way down the hill. Really? Yeah. Oh. But when the waters rise, they really. Rise. But coming over, there's still flood oh, in the yeah. street. So oh, this yeah. is higher than. Yeah, the this is low? actually. Pretty okay. High. Yeah. And this is on a lot of sandstone, so they've been hit okay. by lightning a few times. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> they attract uh, lightning, the sandstone? Uh, it seems really? to be an issue that we've uh. recently discovered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh. <laughs> And you don't collect rainwater, or yeah, anything. we do. You we do. Have rain barrels, yeah. I live in town. I come out yeah. here to help them with yeah. animals. In the oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have several gardens, and we yeah. collect rainwater. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For for, for watering. Water. Yeah, 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 like that one back yeah, right here. Oh, okay. That I was using for the pumpkin patch. Oh yeah, pumpkin patch. Oh, yeah. We tend to use alpacas. What's that? Oh yeah. Don't cry. When we bought the farm. It was a dairy operation. Uh -huh. We used to be able to support one family, that 100 acres, and, and they had about 30 cows, dairy huh. cows. But all of that got much bigger, and so you, you can't be profitable on, on that scale. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of market opportunity in raising uh, animals that you don't feed uh, GMO corn to and you don't use pesticides and herbicides on your fields. And people mm -hmm. will pay for those a little extra because they're fearful that those chemicals might hurt them over time yeah. if they're yeah. on their diet. Our government claims there's no problem, that the <laughs> levels are low enough, but not everybody believes that. So there's mm. a market of, for organics. And so small farms are coming back somewhat. The fellow who rents this ground on this farm can, one man with his equipment can do 1,200 acres a year of corn and beans. Mm. He's got to hire one truck driver in fall to help with the harvest. Mm. But otherwise, he's just, when they're putting the crop in, it takes them about a month to do it, if yeah. that long. Yeah. They sit on the tractor six, 16 hours a day. I've done a little, we've, Sonia and I have done a little bit of that. It's the most boring work. <laughs> so they've got music in there, they've got air conditioning in there, they've got heaters in there. So it's like, I don't know, more like driving a plane, I yep. guess. Uh, it's, is it easy to get non-GMO seeds? No, it's very Ooh. hard because the uh, uh, pollen gets airborne yeah. and it contaminates the neighboring farms, so you really have to be fairly isolated mm. in order to be successful doing that. Will, G, uh, will Monsanto claim them to be theirs once oh, yeah. they're contaminated? That's another problem. Yeah, yeah. if that Monsa Monsanto pollen fertilizes your corn, Monsanto says you owe them money for the patent wow. on that kind of corn, even though you didn't intend to raise it, and that's a big oh. controversy. Uh, so, with the dairy operation, we left, we got out of the dairy operation, we stayed for two years in it. For a while we raised beef, and then uh, we tried a bull, and he kept breaking out. <laughs> so, we decided, we, with teaching at the university, and when the kids left to lead their lives, we didn't have any labor around the place, so we quit with, with the beef operation. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You have to pay a lot of attention to the bigger and uh, lamb and uh, lamb when they're born. In our teaching schedule, we're such we're always going to other communities, and it didn't work out very well. Uh, I'm going to take you over this way now, and we're uh, going to switch topics more to the renewable energy.